Tonight's weather was fantastic. Warm, not terribly humid. A lot of families were out and about at the 9th Annual Gears and Guitars Festival in downtown Winston-Salem. That's where we find Louie Tran for us live tonight. Louie, I still see a few folks lingering over your shoulder. Hey, Kenny, that's correct. Crews right now are cleaning up after tonight's concert. But for the race, 600 cyclists from across the world are competing this weekend. And as you'll hear in this story, one North Carolina man is using this as a way to bond with the man who inspired him to race, his brother. All eyes are on this event. This you're going to get four man heats the whole time. And it's, it, it's, I think it's exactly what everybody who maybe has never been into cycling gets to see. It's quick. You get to see it a bunch of times. A bunch of families from all different backgrounds coming together for one race. All cultures and inclusion and love seeing people from all over joining together to participate and celebrate. Love it. Absolutely love it. The love extends from the spectators to the cyclists, including Eli Woodard from Raleigh. Oh, I'm pumped. This is my first event doing something like this. It's from a standstill 200 meters to the finish line. So it's not anything I've done before, but I'm really excited because it takes a top end athlete to just go for it. And athletes from around the world in Winston-Salem are going for it just like Woodard. A gathering, he says, inspires him. But what inspires him more is racing with his older brother who got him into racing and competing in front of little kids on the other side of the fence, a place he once stood years ago. It feels cool because I was once that kid that was just with my parents wanting to race bikes. And now that I'm here and I'm 22 years old and I get to do it in front of them, it's kind of cool to see. Now, the winner of tonight's race received $1,500. Tomorrow is a criterium race, which will be held at Bailey Park. The winners for both men and women will get $12,500. And Winston-Salem, I'm Louis Tran, WXII 12 News.